Hey friends, welcome back. No time to warm up into this vlog. We have got places to be, things to do, and people to see. If you're totally confused already, hey, my name's Chelsea. I'm a 30-something living alone in New York City. Sometimes I leave my apartment like today to go to events. Hey guys, we made it to Friday. I'm meeting up with my manager and my friend Katie who is joining me for a Bravo experience. She's a huge Bravo fan. I'm watching some Vanderpump Rules, but she watches all the housewives. She like knows everything. Anyway, it's to be like a cool, it's a pop-up experience. My channel is all about sharing the messy parts of my life, things that others may not show on social media. And I do this because I decided I have nothing to lose. So here I am picking up where I left off in the last vlog, taking you through a few days in my life. Hi. There are many random chatty and fun moments to come, but also some more serious conversations too. So if this sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, I do invite you to stick around. fun night. I have some clothes, underwear hanging and drying. <laughs> They're dry now. <laughs> these. I feel like the hair actually ended up working even with the little bits kind of done like this. It's like a half up. Honestly, I haven't looked at it from profile since I left and I don't really want to know what it looks like because I might be a mess and then I just don't want to be thinking nonstop about how I might have been perceived the whole night. <laughs> Oh, oh, I like this hair. It, this really is like politician hair. <laughs> this is Hillary Clinton, if she was a vlogger in New York City. <laughs> oh, the back though is not it. The back is not it. Today is Wednesday. I'm picking up right where the last vlog left off, in the middle of returning everything I basically got from setting up my apartment like an idiot. Which includes returning the bright purple rug I got from my bedroom a couple videos back. People asked why I was returning it and it's because it's the wrong tone of purple. I love it though and it was great for the couple days I had it, it just didn't match. Please do not move unless you're FedEx. I made a sign. I'm worried that someone in my building will bring the rug inside as if it's a delivery instead of being picked up. I have to take this downstairs. Not bad at all. It was like 20 pounds. I just carried it right down. Pretty impressed with myself. Okay, we're, we're now at a fresh start with rugs. I just can't mess it up from here on out. <laughs> I have some editing to do tonight. I'm probably gonna try and make it an early night by just closing my laptop at midnight. That's the vibe. I got the frozen meat stick. Do you want the frozen meat stick? Oh! <laughs> we just lift each other's tongues. <laughs> hey, wake up. Wake up. It's time to eat. It's 3 a.m. What are you, how are you, how are you talking? Am I dreaming? Am I, am I dead? Don't ask questions, human. We saw you unbox your chef-crafted, dietitian approved factor meals that were delivered right to our door. Don't think you can hide the good grub from us. Get to it, lady. Just because Factor is sponsoring today's video does not make you entitled to human food. They have 35 plus meals to choose from each week, including keto and vegan and veggie for humans, not for cats. Do it now. I'm actually hungry, so I'm gonna make one for me. I will give you a snack. And you. Oh yeah, I heard that Factor offers loads of snack options like grab-and-go breakfast smoothies and juices like their seasonal summer refreshers and more. Ah, so refreshing. Here, have some kibble. You are useless. When life inevitably gets hectic for the end of summer, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week. Or pause and reschedule your deliveries anytime if you're out on vacation. I have been eating Factor for over a year now. Their meal options change regularly, so I don't feel like I'm just eating the same thing over and over again. And you probably have noticed that like I am cooking more. There are times that I, you know, I don't want to have to 
plan a meal, forage the food to bring home, to prepare, and then eat and then clean. Like it's a whole process and sometimes you just don't wanna do that for every single meal. It's just nice to know that I can rely on opening my fridge, seeing a factor meal, heat it up really quick and know that it's something I can enjoy genuinely and that it's fresh. Human, don't ignore us. Yeah, give us some of that chicken. Make sure to head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CHELCAL50 to get 50% off your first factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Did you get that, Gordo? Yeah, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CHELCAL50 to get 50% off your first factor box plus 20% off your next month of orders. <laughs> Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Whoa! kind of in a mental rut I like you know when you post a story on Instagram and like the only person who watches it a hundred thousand times is yourself so I'm stuck in like an endless loop of social media and so I decided to sorry the AC is on it's freaking hot today and I kind of want to just do a little bit of a reset for my day and I think that's gonna mean getting out of the house and moving my body and I just am so so pumped to go to the gym I haven't been to the gym since the half marathon, a long, long, long time ago, they probably don't even recognize me anymore. Not that they even did before. It's a big deal, me going to the gym. I'm gonna try out a new workout called 12-3-30. incline, three miles per hour for 30 minutes. We're gonna walk. Yay! to say putting on the gym outfit makes me feel just automatically so much better I it's hard to explain I'm not that much of an active person only really when I feel like it or when I'm training for something and I think the fact oh I'll be honest I'm getting FOMO watching friends and people online train for the New York Marathon and it just makes me so excited for next year when just my summer is gonna be spent doing so much running assuming that you know I'm able to do it. Oh God, so I haven't been able to run the last two weeks because I had a procedure. I can't do any like heavy lifting or any vigorous physical activity. And there's no time I wanted to run more than when I actually couldn't run. And that woke me up, that like actually woke me up. And I had a post-op last Monday. They gave me the go ahead. So normally it was six weeks that I would have been like out of commission um, from running, but after two weeks they said it's looking good and like running's not gonna set me back. I don't need to get into too much detail, but basically I went in for, now I'm gonna say it, a pap smear. The results came back abnormal, so that led to me needing a procedure to fix what was going on. They put me under an general anesthesia and it was very fun <laughs> from what the parts I do remember. We did it, we did it. Are you gonna put this on YouTube? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't share because I just didn't know how much I wanted to share. Anyways, I'm so, I'm much healthier now. So that's why I'm really excited to get to the gym today. And also, because when you don't move your body, it really affects mental health. And I'm feeling that now more than ever. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. So I decided to share that I had an abnormal exam because I felt kind of gross about it. And I realized I felt kind of gross about it because of the stigmas around women's health that causes many people to just not talk about these things, further adding to the stigma. And we should talk about it and not be ashamed of it because a majority of people experience these kind of health issues in their lifetime and we don't have to suffer in silence, thinking that we're the only one going through it. All this to say, as your big sister on the internet, I want to urge you to make sure you get your pap exams regularly I do care about you even though we have a parasocial relationship. I do. And even if you don't have any symptoms, still go regularly because it could be life-saving. If anyone has anything negative to say about this topic, you will be blocked. Blockity block, 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 block. Don't even try me. 
please wait. I'm still a little bit, I'm, I'm not shaken up, but I'm still kind of processing what just happened. Right when I walked out of the gym, there was a couple that just like was walking by and I just merged into, merged like right behind them. This man was screaming at her and then he shoved her and she like stumbled. And then I don't know what came over me, but I was like, hey, and I'm like, are you okay? Like, did he hurt you? Are you okay? I was like, didn't mean to be like yelling at her too. And I was like yelling at the man. Then I was like, are you okay? Like, <laughs> I walked with her to the end of the block and she started to tell me what had happened. And, and she's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, but that was her husband, uh, which is wild, who was acting like a total child. Yeah, we hugged at the end and I don't, I don't know. I didn't even think. I didn't even think. I was just yelling at the man. <laughs> it's broad daylight, so like I didn't feel unsafe stepping in. And there were plenty of people around. There were men that had turned around and they didn't do anything. I don't know. I might have just like made it worse for the couple. Like I don't know. So I'm just sitting here wondering if I could have handled it any better. But she seemed really distraught. So I'm kind of just like snapping out of that. The workout was really, really like a lot harder than I thought. It's supposed to be 12% incline. I did 6.5 and I was just like, <gasps> I forgot to mention this earlier, but like I am really happy that they let me run, that I'm like cleared to run so soon because of the nine plus one, I have two more races to do. I had a race scheduled on the day of the surgery or procedure that I knew I couldn't do. And it turns out I ended up getting canceled because of the heat. And I can st I still get the nine plus one race credit for that. Thank God. I have a backup race, but it's the day after my birthday and it's a 10 miler in the Bronx, the day after my birthday. Like that's not ideal. I'll do it, but it's not ideal. So I have a uh, Harlem 5K next weekend and then I have a 5K in November. And then I'm done with the nine plus one plus volunteering. I signed up uh, for working the expo during the week during marathon week. I mean, I'm glad all this is happening this summer when I have the time to properly recover and I don't feel bad about not pushing myself. Hi, baby. Like I can rest and not feel guilty, like like I'm missing any training. So I feel like it couldn't have worked out better. Anyways, it's really strange. I'm not sure what to think or feel at the moment. I'm just gonna shower and clean. <laughs> They are singing to the tune of a song, and the wind is gently ringing the bell that brings the morning. Welcome of the dawn. The voice of the robin. Call of the dove The red leaves have fallen The barn owl is calling The welcome of the dawn <laughs> The dogs will be howling In the early morning light be out in the ending of the night the welcome of the dawn the nights are turning colder soon the falling of the frost soon the summer will be over Feel the changes closer at the welcome of the dawn. The trees they are singing to the tune of a song, and the wind is gently ringing the bell that brings the morning. Welcome of the dawn. Look, this is looking so good. Though the warm days are over, they are not forever gone. Yeah. 
Like the dust springs the night, the summer brings the fall. It won't be long till harvest comes. Morning brings the welcome of the dawn. I'm gonna chow down. I wasn't trying to even film today, but I, because I was just editing all day. But then this came in the mail. <laughs> I had to go downstairs and bring it up in pieces because the whole box itself was too heavy. Um, the cat's already psyched. Maybe you know what it is. So we're setting this up <laughs> right meow. Oh! <laughs> I think I saw directions. I also love how everything in my apartment's slowly turning pink. <laughs> I don't see any directions. Okay, it didn't come with instructions. I'm gonna look at a picture and see if I can replicate it. It's worth a shot. If I can't do it, then I don't know. So if this is B, and that's on the second level, I'm gonna assume this is A. Yeah, that's the bottom. Hi, babies. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 13, I just don't know what piece does what. I've never seen this. I don't know what this is. Step by step, step by step. Base is done. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I know. Great. Got it. So this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Look at this. Boom. Oh, no. I did the wrong ones. It's supposed to be these longer. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I have to undo what we just did. I just put the wrong sized legs on. I didn't know there was a longer version and a shorter version, I, one sec. I for real hope I'm doing this right. Slowly piecing together what makes sense. And you know like that's not my strength. Bye. <laughs> that was so cute. They're gonna freak out when they see how tall it is. Stop, they love it. And it's only like three feet tall. Well, they love it so far. <laughs> I just like can't take them off of it. Just trying to be careful. Y'all. The next step is the little hammock thing. Yeah, I feel like maybe, I don't want to jinx it, but I think I might be redeeming myself for the apartment video a couple weeks ago. What'd you, did you break it already? Deli's carrying it in her mouth. It stood no chance. She's a huntress. actually really tall. This is like NBA player tall. Y'all, this thing is gigantic. <laughs> it's so huge. And look. <laughs> no. They were just up there though, to be fair. They were just hanging out up there. Here's one thing. I have no sense for warm and cool tone. I cannot tell. I'm literally tone deaf, shade wise, hue wise, whatever. Um, and I think I'm like not aware of the size of things. Even when I measure things, I don't, I feel like I don't get the full scope of how big something's gonna be. To be fair, Cat Gordo's. <laughs> the measurements 
that it gave me, it did not measure all the way out to like this shelf. It only measured out to this. I was only taking into account this much, not the, you know, I, yeah. When it's daylight, I'll be able to look out the window, which is why I specifically wanted it here, but it, it overwhelming, it overwhelms the space. Maybe it's, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, it just takes some getting used to, maybe. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow I'm gonna be editing most of the day, and then I have dinner with, dinner and drinks with Tisha Shrestha. It's gonna be very fun. She's another NYC YouTuber creator. We've met a few times before, and yeah, we're gonna go to a place called Lolita in Midtown. Okay, lighting's really bad, but you get the, you get the idea. <laughs> it's like just starting to rain right now. I'm screaming. I'm just gonna wear sandals. Is that gross in the rain going like near Midtown? Kind of is, isn't it? Should I wear boots? Okay, this outfit feels kind of weird. <laughs> but it's raining and I think like wet toes are gross. Wet, wet midtown toes are gross. Screw it, I'm just going. Okay, um, I'll see you when we're there. So my friends, that's all she wrote. The energy was all over the place in this video, but I think that's more of an accurate reflection to how my life truly is. We're all going through something, whether we talk about it or not. Where I've found a lot of hope is in my female friendships. My friend Katie, who I had an amazing time with at the event. My girl Julie, who drove me to my appointment. And Tisha, who I'm meeting for dinner now, who is one of the kindest hearted people to exist. We lift each other up and that's womanhood and it's what keeps me going a lot of the time. So I'm gonna close out this video by saying, if you like this video, show some love by giving it a thumbs up before you go. The engagement really helps you to recognize my channel and push it out to more awesome people like you. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I love ya. More fun to come and I will see you next time. How long were we there? Four and a half hours, I think, right? Yeah. And we were trying to get another drink and yeah. we were like, oh, it's 11.30. <laughs> Whoopsies.